Hey everybody, welcome back to Storytime with Frank. I haven't done some stories in a while and I've been getting some requests for them, so thought I'd throw a couple out there real quick. So, uh, years ago, when I first met my um, my best friend, it was probably, it's when I met in 91, and I was working at a pizza delivery place, and so I just got out of high school, and so I was working I got a job at the pizza delivery place. I guess I had a car, maybe it was 92. Yeah, it was 92. Cause I had a car and so I went to go do deliveries and I met him and he was the manager and um, we like immediately hit it off and would go and hang out. And of course I wasn't old enough to drink back then. And so we would go over to his house and uh, drink beer at his house. And uh, if you watch the, one of my first stories about my 21st birthday, uh, that was him, so um, he kind of started my love affair of beer, which is now pretty much non-existent. But anyway, so we worked at this place, worked for this notoriously cheap and hateful owner uh, who had no business running a pizza place to begin with. And so strange things would happen from time to time. The first time, I actually worked there twice. I know it's stupid me to go back, uh, but it was the only job I could find in between um, computer jobs so or I guess it was right after I had worked my first computer job and I was looking for another one and I ended up working for him and then I ended up going and working my next computer job but anyway the first time um, he would make us go put door hangers up for hours and said you know I'm not paying you for it I'll feed you but I'm not gonna pay you because you're doing this to help yourself make money because the business makes money and then you get to work and you make money that's how cheap this guy was. So there was a manager of some apartments, some local apartments, and she was not what we would call attractive, uh, maybe to the right person, uh, but not to any younger uh, gentleman like myself or my friend. Um, and so she had mentioned, I went over there and took some door hangers and they were gonna have her, she was gonna have her crew go put them out on the doors for us. And we gave him free pizza for doing it. And she was like, hey, I really like your friend. Um, is he single? And she was probably, I'd say she was probably in her 30s. And him and I were both in our 20s at the time. And I was like, I don't think he has a girlfriend. I was like, um, I'll talk to him and I'll let you know. So I went back and I was like, never guess who wants to hook up with you, dude. And he's like, no way. Not going to happen. He's like, that is nasty. And she was... The neighborhood we were in wasn't that great. And so, you know, it's not like they hired the best looking women to work in these apartment complexes as managers. So he was like, yeah, that's not gonna happen. So um, I thought, God, I, I really wanna screw with him. Like that was my first thought when he was like, there's no way I would ever do anything with that woman. My first idea in my head was I have to screw with them. I have to completely screw with them. And uh, I told him later on what I did, like years later, and he laughed about it. So I went back over there to take some pizza, and I was like, hey, I talked to my friend, and uh, he's really attracted to you, and he wants to like hook up. And I said, but he's really shy around women, so you're gonna need to make the first move. And I don't know exactly what happened, what the conversation took place between them. He never really said, <laughs> he was pissed. He was like, why the hell did you do that? And I just started laughing because I knew he'd come into work from going over there to talk to them about uh, uh, there was they were going to pass out menus. They were going to put them in the bills um, for the customer's rent on the apartments. And he's like, you're such a bastard. Um, so, and I don't remember if that happened. It might have happened after my 21st birthday. And maybe that's why I did it. I don't really remember right in that area which which came first but it was pretty funny um one of the other things that happened when him and i worked together um was i had to go to this hotel and this hotel was pretty notorious uh, even though it was in a nicer part of town um then it was right off the highway that just that little section wasn't that great it's still not um part of that area has got really nice expensive houses and some of it's just kind of scummy so I had to go to this hotel and deliver and 
What's funny is years later, I was working a computer job uh, right over by the ballpark there in Arlington, and uh, I ordered from the pizza place that was at that hotel. These Indian guys had opened a pizza place. They used to make an 18-inch long steak and cheese sub on toasted Italian bread. It was amazing. Every Friday night, when I, if I had to work late, I'd call those guys and uh, have them deliver to work. I loved those sandwiches. I still think about them. They were so good. Uh, but anyway, so they were like, my, my friend was like, well, you take this one. Because he would deliver two um, if there was somebody there to answer the phones and kind of watch things. Sometimes he would go and deliver if the owner was there. Well, the owner happened to be there. Um, but he was like, you can take this one. And he go, and I said, what, do they not tip? And he goes, oh, it just depends on who it is. He said, normally it's people from out of town, so they're not, they, they normally tip something. And I don't know if he knew what was about to happen or somebody had already been out there or what. I don't know who knew what. And I've, you know, I've never asked him. I should probably ask him. But, um, I show up at this lady's door and knock on the door and she said, hold on a second. Um, she came to the door wearing pretty much nothing and had the money in between her teeth and I had to take the money out of her teeth and hand her the pizza and I ran back to my car. Um, another situation where she wasn't attractive at all and this woman was probably in her mid to late 50s, uh, if I had to guess. Plus I was 20 back then so, you know, who knows, she might have been 30 for all I know uh, and just living that rough life. but. Uh, it was pretty scary, and when I got back, they, they had a, everybody had a good laugh about that one. And that happened a few other times with people, and uh, one of the other things I remember um, from working there the first time was that there was a guy, and I would go deliver pizza to him, and he always had his door open, just had the screen door um, shut, and his wife was never home. She was a nurse, and I, I met them later on. And under other circumstances, I think somebody I knew knew them, and they were um, they were in their I think early 40s, and they knew some people that I knew, and we were all at a party, so I got to talk to them. But the uh, the wife was always really nice, but the husband never came to the door. So you think that would make it hard to deliver pizza? He sent his dog, and I'm not kidding. He had a huge, might have been a Great Dane, and the dog would come to the door, knock on the door. And he'd tell the dog to get pizza and the dog would walk to the screen door and push it open with his nose and then open his mouth. And what I was supposed to do was take my left hand, reach in his collar and take the money out and put the pizza box, a large pizza box in the dog's mouth. And then the, I would hold the screen door and the dog would just back up and take it to the guy and the guy would say, keep the change. Uh, he did it like three or four times and then, um, his wife was coming home he had ordered a little later I guess or she got off work early so she was pulling in the driveway as the dog's taking the pizza from me and she was like do you deliver here a lot and I said oh, about every other Friday night and she goes does the dog always get it and I go yeah and she goes I cannot believe my husband trained his dog to get the pizza for him and supposedly the dog could open the fridge and get beer for him it was pretty funny uh, but she was just shaking her head. She couldn't believe that her husband had done that. So anyway, uh, that's a few stories about the first time I worked there. I have other stories about the second time I worked there, and they're like really just like nuts. Uh, but I'm going to save that for next time. Um, so make sure that uh, you subscribe to this channel, The uh, Wide World of Frank, because I do post uh, my daily vlog there. I post the story ones, and then... So every t once in a while I'll have some random crap that I'll post uh, on there too. Uh, but make sure you subscribe. If you like these videos, hit the like button. Uh, I'll have more stories coming up. I have uh, probably a two-parter on this next one. The second time I worked there at the pizza place, there's a lot of crazy stuff that happened. So uh, make sure you watch the channel and watch for those videos. I thank you all for watching. Uh, like I said, make sure you subscribe. And uh, I will see you next time.